Hello students, welcome you all in e learning. Today we are going to see about class 9 Sanskrit, chapter number 7, Unity accomplishes the task. Let us see the translation for this chapter here. There was a large silk cotton tree on the banks on the river of Godavari. Many birds who had came from various countries used to stay there at night. Among them was also a crow by the name Lagupatanaka. Once the crow saw a hunter like the second god of death moving about in the morning. Now having seen him he thought today in the morning itself the sight of a bad thing took place. I don't know what undesirable thing it will show. Thus thinking he became an oxious. Now after having scattered the rice grain, a net was spread by the hunter and he stood hidden behind the tree. Right at that time the king of the pigeons named Chitragriva was going flying in the sky with his return. Having seen rice spread on the ground, the pigeons were ready. The king of pigeons said to the pigeons who were greedy of the rice grain, How could there be the throw possibly of rice grain in, the, in this unihabitat forest? So think first, I do not see the good coming of this. As a result of this greed of rice grains, even some great misfortune may be fall us. So, under no circumstances, a uh, thoughtless action should be done because well digested food, very clever son, well managed wealth, the king who is well served. Something said after thinking properly and whatever is done after giving it a good thought do not get spoiled during the course of quite a long period of time. Hearing this, certain pigeons said proudly, Ah, why is it said like this? Indeed, when the time of calamity comes, the advice of old people should be accepted. By thinking thus, every time even eating food will be impossible. So, next, and, and it is said, everything is preverded by doubts, food and water are difficult to get, where activities should be proceeded, how indeed should life be lived. Having heard that speech of this, all the pigeons sat down on the net, then all of them were trapped by net. Now Bing bounced uh, by listening the wo uh, Wu's advice they got there. Having heard him criticized, Chitragriva said, to be surprised in the difficulty is the characteristic of feature of a cowardly person. So holding on to courage, now let this be done, being of one mind, unitedly fly away taking the net, because the unity or combination of even small things accomplishes the task. The huge elephant in a rat can be tied with the rope made out of blades of grass. Thus thinking, all the pigeons flew away taking the net. Then the hunter ran after them, seeing them carry away the net. But seeing them gone far away, the hunter went back. Having seen the hunter gone back, Chitragriva said, We will go to my friend Hiranyaka, the king of mice. He will free us from the bondage. Then they went to the king of mice. The ties of all were cut by Chitragriva's friend. The king of mice with sharp teeth 
Chitragriva also went to the desired place after having given thanks to Hiranyaka. So dear students, here our translation for chapter number 7 is over. You may note down the translation in your copy. Thank you.